going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the one month review of the Mizuno Morelia 2 Made in Japan, one of the most incredible football boots on the market. In today's video, I want to tell you all of the aspects of this boot that make it possibly the best leather football boot on the market as well as the most comfortable. We're going to go over all the tech specs, we're going to go over all the aspects, I'm going to rate them out of 10 and let's get into it with the sole plate rating. So the sole plate on the Mizuno Morelia 2 is very very basic from a technology standpoint for a boot that's been out for around 30 years now. It is a little lackluster from a responsiveness standpoint that being said, it's so neutral and you barely notice the studs when you're on AG or FG pitches. I've had the, the privilege to wear these both on this pitch, uh, our home pitch in Rochester. This is uh, just a different pitch there. And then the one behind me, which is a natural grass field, both in wet and dry conditions. And in all of those conditions, all of those surface pitches, these perform really well. You don't notice the stud. There's zero stud pressure at all. There's a decent amount of flex and you really feel like you have a good grip on the ground regardless of how you're moving whether you're cutting whether you're moving forward anything like that is so so good so for me this soul plate is just going to lose one point because of maybe a little bit lackluster and out of date as far as modern soul plates go so this is going to get an 8 out of 10. The heel area of the Morelia 2 is very very good I would say it's probably in my top 10 heel areas of current football boots on the market. There's no extra padding there. It provides a really nice shape for your foot. My only complaint is that probably for some people, it's not gonna be the best simply because there is a pretty high external heel counter that goes in. So if you don't fit kind of in that predetermined shape, it's probably gonna struggle. You're probably gonna struggle a little bit to actually break these in over a longer period of time. Um, it's just, it might give you a little bit of slippage it doesn't for me a pair of grip socks fit any sort of slippage that i had without any grip socks so for me this is going to get an 8 out of 10 for the heel area the upper of this football boot is where this football boot shines as you can see from an up close uh, little b-roll action this is a fully kangaroo leather upper it is absolutely the softest kangaroo leather i have ever had on my feet bar maybe an Adler Japan boot. Like those are the only things that come even close to this. And the quality, uh, the, the comfort, the amount of responsiveness, which actually is really surprising given that this is a fully leather upper aside from this white running bird logo, which is a synthetic, that adds a little bit of lateral structure, which is fantastic. It's everything's put in the right place for the right reason. And for me, that's why this is probably in, in my opinion, this is the most comfortable straight out of the box leather boot you can buy on the market today with zero, there, there's no asterisks to that. This is the most comfortable upper. It is so incredibly, incredibly soft, so plush, feels super natural on feet, feels basically like you're playing barefoot, which in a pair of leather boots is a really hard thing to do from a construction standpoint, and they just feel amazing. This padded tongue has a little bit of neoprene or foam on the inside, so it gives you just a plush padded feel, and I really, there's really nothing I can say about this upper uh, that is a negative other than maybe a personal preference of somebody who might want a grip element or something like that or who likes a knit based boot better but for a leather football boot this is the best of the best so for me this gets a 9 out of 10 top rating lockdown for this football boot is actually surprisingly good for a quote-unquote classic leather football boot because of where this running bird logo sits on the lateral and on the medial side and those are synthetics that don't stretch at all those provide a really nice locked in sensation when you tie the laces tight. These laces also happen to be pretty deep and also pretty wide, so you do have quite a bit of flexibility. They're not as wide and deep as an Asics DS Lite X-Fly 4 or 5. Both of those boots have a super wide and super low lacing system, which in my opinion is probably the best on the market for just overall adjustability and comfort, but really no complaints when it comes to lockdown. Once you get your feet inside and you break them in a little bit and you tie the laces tight, they really don't, you really won't slip at all. And especially if you wear any any type of your favorite grip socks, you shouldn't have any issues with slippage in here. So for me, the only thing I'm gonna knock it down for, which is a half a point, is the tiny amount of slippage I had in the heel area and that sort of affects the way that the lockdown happens. As I said before, a pair of grip socks fixes that almost immediately, um, but it is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10 for 
for the lockdown of this football boot. Break-in time for the Mizuno Morelia 2 is essentially non-existent. The leather is about this soft straight out of the box, which provides the most insane wrap around your foot as soon as you get it on feet. When I tried it on, you guys can check out my initial review of this football boot. You guys probably will see the look on my face, which is just absolute grins all around. I think this football boot is so comfortable straight out of the box. And I will say it is an absolute joy to break in because there's basically no break in time. For most people, unless you have way wider feet than me, and I've got pretty wide feet, especially in this lateral side here, which is where that non-stretch synthetic running bird logo is, I would say you might have a little bit of break in time, but for the most part, uh, myself included, there is zero break in time for this football boot. And it really is a football boot that I think most people can just buy. They can assume you go true to size, you, you buy your regular size in, based on US sizing, and you can hop straight into them straight out of the box and they're gonna be perfect for you straight away. So for me, that's why this gets a nine out of 10 for break in time. Made in Japan Mizuno products are really hard to knock for durability and build quality. Uh, the reason for that is because the Made in Japan line is their top end models. So they are the models that uh, sit over the elite models. The elite models are very good, but the Made in Japan Mizuno models, both the Morelia Neo 3, Neo 3 Beta, um, this Morelia 2, and now the Alpha, all have fantastic durability. The Alpha, maybe not so much. I've seen some people who have broken those pretty quickly, but as far as leather football boots, especially this one, which they've been building for 30 years now, particularly in little touches like doing these stiples here on the uh, sole plate right there to make sure that no splitting happens from the upper. They've got those little pins in the back as well, so there's no heel slippage. Um, the leather quality is just insane. They've got really durable laces, and everything is built to function exactly how it's supposed to function. And for me, that's what makes this football boot so, so good. And so from a durability and build quality perspective, this is probably one of the top pairs of football boots I've ever tried. And I mean that very sincerely from a build quality, just a materials and everything that goes into this football boot, including the fact that this weighs only six ounces, which is absolutely bananas. This is like basically speed boot type weight, but for a boot that's built so durably, it, it's so nice on feet and it doesn't, there, there's been zero, you guys can see I've absolutely uh, worn these to bits on turf, which you can see the staining there, um, but also on that, that regular firm ground pitch and they really are some of the best built boots other than maybe like player issue boots that I've gotten in the past, but these still are top, top, top. So for me, build quality and durability, this gets a nine out of 10. Shape and fit of the Mizuno Morelia 2 made in Japan is excellent. In my opinion, it will fit most foot types. If you have, as I said before, massively wide feet in any of these midfoot areas, even wider than my feet, you'll probably have a little bit of break in time and maybe the shape won't be perfect straight out of the box, but it is going to break in for most people. This is a very neutral shape. It'll fit most people. It fits me perfectly straight out of the box. And now that I've broken it in even more, it is basically like a glove on my foot. It's one of the best fitting boots that I have in my collection right now and that I wear on a normal day, day to day rotation. So for me, shape and fit gets a nine out of 10. Competition for this football boot, there's a few different ones that I would say compete with this in the sort of cl modern classic leather uh, football boot. You have the Copa Mundial, which hasn't been changed in you know, 30, 40 years now, uh, potentially even 50 years. So Copa Mundial from Adidas, I suppose you could put the Nike Premier in there. It's not really the same echelon of quality, but it is sort of a basic leather football boot. The Pentafolo Doro series, uh, of course, the Adler Japan series, I would say that's the closest thing to this. And then you have companies like, like newer companies like Uno Zero and some of these other uh, modern classic football boots that are coming out now. And then I'm sure you have, for those of you who live in Italy or who are familiar with a lot of the sort of niche, really, uh, bespoke Italian brands. There's several micro brands in the football boot community that I've seen pop up now or who have been around for a while and have, have just started getting into their marketing stuff. Um, they're starting to pop up and I'm starting to see more and more of those brands come to come to more popularity in those countries. So uh, I would say that those are that's kind of an overview of what this competes with. I would say that far and above everything else is these and the Adler boots. The Adler boots are absolutely sensational as far as build quality and, and comfort and all that stuff. The only reason I'm gonna put this at the top of the top is because I think 
Mizuno has done something very special with this boot, and that is create something that's responsive, super comfortable, also plush and lightweight. They've done it all in a, a package that is incredible build quality and, and all the above. So for me, this gets uh, the top rank for the competition. Performance rating for this beautiful football boot. And also let's just talk about color for a second. The color on this football boot is a 10 out of 10. I don't care what anybody says. This is one of the most beautiful classic leather football boots I've ever seen. Performance of this football boot is very, very good. As I said before, touch is beautiful. The feeling on feet with the ball, without the ball is beautiful. Uh, responsiveness of the sole plate is fantastic. Again, the only half point I'm gonna knock it down for is in the heel area where for some people, this heel area might be a little bit too constructed, if that makes sense. So it's gonna be a fairly predetermined shape. It's not gonna mold around your uh, Achilles tendon in your heel like something like a GX that's got a really, really moldable heel, not really any internal or external heel counter there other than a little bit on the sides for stability. So for something like this, that's got a proper heel counter in it, you just might find for some people that you have a little bit of heel slippage. Uh, if you absolutely have to wear this football boot and you just for whatever reason have a ton of heel slippage, I might recommend putting a little bit of foam padding on the inside of your sock where you're having issues with your ability just to put a little extra volume in there so that you don't sw move around. The easiest fix would be a pair of grip socks, but as I said before, um, it really is minor for me. And so for me, this is gonna get a performance rating of 8.5 out of 10. Overall, this football boot is absolutely sensational. And I mean that very sincerely. This is probably one of the best football boots I've ever had on my feet and ever had the pleasure of trying. And for that reason, it is, it is basically a god tier football boot. For me, because of how good this has been for so long and the fact that it's just getting incrementally better and better every generation that comes out, they might not look very different, but they are slightly different in every generation, whether it be with a tongue, different stitching patterns, um, potentially new materials that they're coming out with. This football boot is sensational. And for me, the overall rating of the Mizuno Morelia Two, made in Japan is a 9 out of 10. It is the top rated football boot, the top rating I can give any football boot. As I said before in previous videos, no 10 out of 10s, there's nothing perfect, but this is a 9 out of 10. This is a unbelievable football boot, and I think this would be and should be on your list to try for the next time. Hope you guys enjoyed that one month review of this football boot. This will be a very active football boot in my rotation. It'll be something that I play in quite a lot. Uh, I do train in this very often. It probably gets in my rotation once every five to seven days in training. So oops, bugs everywhere. Uh, five to seven days in training, whether it be on my own or with the team. This is a boot that is, is regularly in my rotation because of how comfortable it is. And it is a boot that I would use any day of the week for matches or for uh, training sessions. So for me, this is again, a fantastic football boot, definitely should be on your list. If you did enjoy that video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. First link down in the description box below will be a link to my web store where you can find the in-season lifting programs, which are a huge help for injury prevention and strength gains during season. Very, very important to get those uh, extras in as you will, and I will see, do it I'll see what I can do, but I'll see if I can find a link to these as well for you guys. Um, I remember buying them. I think I got these on either soccer.com or pro direct. Uh, I don't know if they actually have them anymore, but I will grab a link to one of the stores around and see if I can get those. So check the description box below. If it's not there it means I haven't found them, but if I did, it'll be down there. Go check out my shop for those. Uh, we just put together a bundle so you can buy all four phases in one sitting for a discounted price. So that is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.